रेटिना रिगार्डिंग रेटिना रेटिना इज द इनर मोस्ट न्यूरोनल लेयर ऑफ द आई वर्ल्ड दिस इज द इनर मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द आई सो वाई इज रेटिना एपियर्स टू बी पर्पलिस रेड इन कलर पर्पलिस रेड इज ड्यू टू द ड्यू टू द एपियरेंस ऑफ द रोड्स बिकॉज द रोड कलर इज ऑल्सो पर्पल एंड द वेस्कुलेचर ऑफ द कोरोइड मेक्स इट रेड इन कलर सो रेड इन आई पी एस टू बी पर्पल इज रेड इन कलर नाउ कमिंग टू द इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टडी थ्रोली अबाउट द एनाटोमी ऑफ द रेड इन आई अलॉन्ग विद ऑल डिजीजेज ऑल द डिजीजेज विल बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एलॉन्ग विद इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन पोर्सन रिलेटेड टू द रेड इन आई सो रिगार्डिंग एनाटोमी देर आर टू पार्ट फॉर रेड इन आई दे आर very feral part of retina and uh, posterior part of retina posterior pole of retina posterior and peripheral look posterior includes two structure that is optic disc and other is the macula uh, optic disc we will study about optic disc and the other is macula and the peripheral includes ora serrata which is the anterior border of the retina Uh, which joins to the choroid region ora serrata and equator part of the retina so regarding optic disc we should know that uh, it is the posterior most part of the retina look this uh, everybody knows the uh, this is the optic disc and uh, uh, and below to that there is a uh, macula region look suppose that this is the macula region and what is the diameter of the optic disc the optic disc diameter is usually 1.1.5 mm but the macula is greater than this optic disc uh, macula can be up to 5.5 mm diameter and regarding optic disc one should know that it is also known as blind spot why because there is no rods and cones present in the this region and for the macula is known as uh, yellow spot yellow spot and it is the high highly sensitive area most sensitive area of the uh, retina because here are the largest number of cones present largest cone but here is no rod and cones no rod cones is present so it is known as blind spot now coming to the structure a magnified view of the macula we will make look a macula is a look this is a macula suppose that this same figure is magnified here this is macula at the center there is fovea and then comes the uh, parafovial uh, fovea ke upar fovea centralis hota hai and then the parafovea region and at last the whole is known as macula Think that this is fovea, fovea. That is, this is the depressed structure of the macula, and then comes the fovea centralis, and as a whole, all is known as macula. Uh, this is all for the macula and optic disc portion. Now coming to the peripheral ora serrata. Peripheral retina has ora serrata, which is the interior attachment for the retina. which is very strongly attached to the choroid along with the vitreous humor and the equator region of the retina also comes under the peripheral part of retina now a very important portion that is the uh, histological diagram histological diagram of the retina how to remember all those ten ten layers of the retina there is a very famous uh, mnemonics that is Uh, coming from inward in in new generation new generation it is ophthalmologist only ophthalmologist ophthalmologist examining patient i look there are many mnemonics but this one is the most famous and most easier method of remembering all the ten layers coming from inside to outside in means inner limiting new means neuronal layer generation means uh, ganglionic cell layer then comes the this so how to remember now now the confusion start look plexiform 
nuclear lexithon nuclear p and p n this is inner because there is i so inner plexiform inner nuclear outer plexiform because we have o outer nuclear and then it again becomes easier because there is e this is external limiting layer and then this is uh, pigment cells pigment cells are rods and cones and at last this is the pigmentary epithelium pigmentary epithelium so this is what internal limiting layer then this is neuronal layer and then this is ganglionic cell layer ganglionic cell layer so this is the 10 layers coming from inside to outside now regarding a few points related to the rods and cones look rod is more in number more in number that is 120 millions of rod are present but cones are less in number that is uh, usually 6.5 million cones are present this is million and then rod has rhodopsin cone has opsin pigment that is rod is for scotopic vision and this is for bright vision so this everybody knows these things and what is the bipolar bipolar cell because this is very important for mcq first order neuron of uh, visual pathway is bipolar cell so this is all for the anatomical portion of retina uh, a small topics like blood supply is remaining blood supply is via the uh, retinal artery the retinal artery is a branch of uh, is a branch of internal carotid artery and it ultimately gives further branch superior and inferior and uh, ultimately supplies the whole part of the retina but specifically topic talking specifically one should know that the anterior uh, upper four layers of the retina is supplied by the choroid vessel upper four layer of retina is supplied by choroid vessels but lower uh, inner inner ke jo six bachte hai, six layer four layers and six layers this is supplied by retinal artery and now talking about the venous supply venous supply is via same vein means what is that vein retinal vein retinal vein drains into ophthalmic vein and ophthalmic vein ultimately drains into the cavernous venous sinus and this is the venous drainage that's all for the anatomy portion now coming to thoroughly divide the disease portion of the retina how can we divide all those diseases first of all we will uh, study about the uh, occlusive disease means vasculature disease uh, vasculature mein occlusion occlusive disease occlusive disease can be divided into venous occlusion look arterial occlusion and venous occlusion arterial occlusion is uh, arterial occlusion can be either central retinal artery central retinal artery occlusion or branched retinal artery occlusion cryo or bryo then comes the venous occlusion venous occlusion can be again of two types that is either central retinal vein occlusion or branched retinal vein occlusion look the central retinal vein occlusion is further two types if the venous occlusion has made uh, ischemia then that is ischemic type ischemic type of uh, or if it uh, ischemia has not occurred then that is non ischemic type of central uh, retinal vein occlusion ischemic now coming to the this is for the first group uh, and the other systemic do, group that we are going to study is uh, diabetic retinopathy diabetic retinopathy usually diabetic retinopathy is again divided uh, to four types that is non proliferative type non proliferative means no neovascularization is yet started then comes the proliferative type proliferative 
देन रेटिनोपैथी मैक्यूलोपैथी डायबिटिक मैक्यूलोपैथी डायबिटिक मैक्यूलोपैथी इज सीन एंड अल्टीमेटली द फोर्थ स्टेज बिकम एडवांस्ड डायबिटिक आई डिजीज एडवांस्ड डायबिटिक आई डिजीज वी आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग ऑल द डिजीज एलॉन्ग विथ इट्स टाइप्स एंड देयर क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ कम्स द थर्ड टाइप ऑफ सिस्टेमिक डिजीज दैट इज हाइपर टेंसिव रेटिनोपैथी रेटिनोपैथी इट इज़ वेरी गुड थिंग दैट देर आर नो क्लासिफिकेशन फॉर हाइपर टेंसन बट यूजली देर इज ग्रेडिंग वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द ग्रेडिंग ऑफ द हाइपर टेंसिव रेटिनोपैथी नोन एज कीथ एंड वेगनर ग्रेडिंग नो द फोर्थ टाइप ऑफ डिजीज वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेचोरिटी आर ओ पी रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेचोरिटी इज यूजली कॉज ड्यू टू थ्री कॉज दैट इज आइदर प्री टर्म डिलीवरी प्री टर्म डिलीवरी और द बेबी इज लो बर्थ वेट लो बर्थ वेट बेबी और ड्यू टू हाई ऑक्सीजन सप्लीमेंटेशन टू द बेबी आफ्टर बर्थ दीज आर द थ्री इम्पोर्टेंट कॉज फॉर द रेटिनोपैथी ऑफ प्री मेचोरिटी नाउ कमिंग टू द अदर ब्लड डिस्कैरियसिस रिलेटेड रेटिनोपैथी ब्लड डिस रिएसिस वट कुड वि अदर ब्लड रिलेटेड रेटिनोपैथिक डिसऑर्डर दैट इज आइदर सिकल सेल वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सिकल सेल एनीमिया सिकल सेल रेटिनोपैथी सॉरी रेटिनोपैथी एंड द अदर इज एनेमिक रेटिनोपैथी एंड एट लास्ट वी विल स्टडी अबाउट ल्यूकेमिक रेटिनोपैथी ल्यूकेमिक दिज वेर रिलेटेड टू ब्लड डिस्कैरियसिस then what is the other disease that will be a broad uh, disease that is uh, macular dystrophy macular disease macular disease in macula we will study about look first we will study about cscr central serous chorioretinopathy central serous chorioretinopathy is the detachment of the neurosensory part of the retina neurosensory part of the retina with or without the detachment of pigmentary part means this is neurosensory jo hai neurosensory part ka detachment this is known as cscr central serous chorioretinopathy and usually seen in the macula now other disease is related macula is cystoid macular edema and what is this this is the separation of the two layers uh, between the two layers of the retina and that two layer is p and n look inner plexi and outer nuclear ke beech mein agar edema mein separation ho jaye that is known as cme inner plexi and outer nuclear layer of the retina uh, plexi form and outer nuclear layer is separated in the cme and uh, other disease we will study that is uh, retinitis pigmentosa retinitis pigmentosa and what is this retinitis pigmentosa is usually uh, hereditary genetic as well as this is a very broad topic uh, whose cause is also very broad and usually affects the uh, initial at initial stage rods are affected and later it also includes cones the abnormality of the roots and after later progresses to the cones so there is uh, no soft types in retinitis pigmentosa and uh, at last we will conclude our um, retina topic with uh, by studying about retinoblastoma retinoblastoma this is the most common type of tumor in the child Uh, and retinoblastoma is a gene which originates from the neurosensory part of the retina and uh, and this gene is usually responsible for this gene is responsible for tumor suppression and if uh, there any abnormality occurs then uh, it causes retinoblastoma of the eye and at last we will study about the uh, leukoporia 
और वाइट पीपिलरी लाइट रिफ्लेक्स ल्यूको कोरिया ऑल्सो नोन एज वाइट पीपिलरी लाइट रिफ्लेक्स सो रिगार्डिंग दिस देर इज अ सिंगल न्यूमोनिक्स थ्री सी आर विच वी विल स्टडी लेटर अबाउट इट्स दीज आर द कॉजेज फॉर द ल्यूको कोरिया थ्री सी आर सो इन दिस वे वी विल कंक्लूड आवर एटिया थैंक यू